What's going on guys? Moose78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are on episode number six now. And this week we're going to finish our trip up to Eli, Nevada. And if you're new to the channel, you're new to the series, what this is, it's basically my Let's Play series. I commentate uh, the in-game video as well as talk about some stuff that could be happening within the truck sim community. Might even share some of my experiences in the truck sim community. We'll talk some real trucking and just whatever I find interesting at the time that I sit down to record these. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you stick around. And if you are new, uh, take a look around. Check out some of the content. If you find it to be entertaining, interesting, uh, please consider subscribing. Try to get around this guy before we're... Pretty sure this road comes to a two lane here in a second. Yep. Nope. Not getting around. Okay. Uh, just to recap real quick, last week we talked about uh, some more of the in-game review stuff. I've just been doing some informal, you know, game review, things like that for the last couple weeks. Or last couple episodes, I'm sorry. Uh, this week, uh, or last week, I'm sorry, jumped ahead of myself there a little bit. Last week, we talked about the road system, the intersections, things like that. And this week, I guess, we'll talk about what you could consider, I guess, some wish list stuff. Uh, one thing that's always kind of bothered me with the vanilla SES maps is, you know, all the truck stops and everything are just a few hundred feet off of the highway, the interstate, whatever, which isn't necessarily realistic. You know, you go back to uh, Ivan's Cali map and the TA truck stop, that's pretty realistic. You know, having it close to the interstate, but not like right off the interstate. And there's a little bit of a service road you have to travel on to get to it. It'd be nice to see a lot more stuff like that. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Not have them all be exactly the same. You know, maybe you have to drive a mile or so off the kind of beaten path to get to the truck stop. Then maybe it's a big truck stop. Maybe it's a small truck stop. So I know in Ivan's map, he had a couple different... Uh, truck stop variants, which was pretty cool. Mixed it up a little bit. Just added some realism to it. So it'd be cool if SES is, you know, could do that if by chance there's anyone from SES out there watching. That would be kind of cool to do. Give us some big truck stops some small truck stops. I do like how they have kind of made some of the truck stops now where they are kind of little service plazas, things like that. You know, I like those. Keep those, but also add some little big, big, big truck stops. And I guess with the truck stops, uh, go a little bit more in depth there, I guess. You know, add multiple fuel islands. You know, the just trucks can come up. I don't know if they can do it where trucks would just pull up to them. But, you know, multiple fuel islands. Uh, put a service center in there. Maybe even a chrome shop. You know, a truck wash. It'd be cool, really cool, if they somehow had the ability for the vehicles to kind of get dirty after a certain period of time. You know, they got a little bit dirty... And you could actually go into a truck wash and, you know, wash up your truck and, you know, polish it up and make it look all nice and new again. I've heard several people talk about that. Ooh, and here we are in Eli. So this might not be a very long episode this week. intersection here. Now I'm kind of wishing I would have got in front of this guy. Because now I got two guys in front of me. And we're waiting. We're waiting.
I think this intersection is kind of broken. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Does not look like the other traffic has to stop, the cross traffic. So we're just kind of left to sit here and wait. Are we gonna go? Now hopefully this is something they can fix in a future update if there's a few more intersections like this in the game where there's just no kind of rhyme or reason to it. All right, guys, kind of fast forward ahead there a little bit. I literally sat at that intersection for about six full minutes. Not in-game minutes, six real minutes. What? And the destination's just right over here. That's kind of frustrating. Could have had this thing delivered, another load picked up, and been out of town. Daddy's got money to make. And there is no way I'm even going to try to back this thing up into the dock. So I'm going to be a plebe and just drop it off because Daddy's in a hurry. Yep, I'm in a hurry. That's right. Of course I'm late. I sat in a freaking intersection for six minutes. Get this thing dropped. Come on. I was kind of looking at it. Chrome looks goofy for some reason. And voila. Now it's back to normal. Okay. I've been working on it, but I haven't got it completed yet. But uh, replacing the tanks, the def tank, the steps, and everything on the 579 pretty much everything and uh it's all in z mod it's all in place i just need to go back and kind of finish it up do the shadow mapping and all that stuff nothing nothing too hard i just just haven't got it done yet i did kind of mock it up and put it in game and it did look pretty good just need to fix up the steps on the passenger side Try taking uh, the def box up a 389 and put it on there, but just of course it's not accurate, so I don't want to put it on there. So I just need to fix that up, get that in game. Like I said, it looked really good. So I'll definitely give SES credit; they did a phenomenal job with the cab on this, as well as the interior. Same goes for the 680. Area. Probably go ahead and take a 10 hour break. Check here in a second and see how much time I have before my next break. But it just kind of drives me nuts with, let's see, six hours, six and a half hours. Let's see. Can mess around with the camera here a little bit. I got an HD camera mod. I'll try to uh, link that in the description if I remember. Really looks really cool. But it just kind of drives me nuts how, to me, uh, some people might like it, and that's fine if they do. But to me, just the tanks and the steps on this thing just look cheesy and cheap. Go ahead and check the freight market out here. Coming out of Eli is Jack Shiznit. 
I really don't want to pull any vanilla trailers. So we'll take our 10 hour break here and see if we can get the econ to reset, the economy to reset there. All right, got it reset. There we go. There we go. Grab the Wabash and head down to LA. And I think we're going to call this episode, guys. Go ahead and wrap it up. As always, thanks for watching, hanging out, and supporting. It's greatly appreciated. And you guys know the routine by now. If you like today's video, give it a like, give it a share. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. We'll be seeing you. Thank <laughs> you.